For example, that Simon Eber has to broadcast in Radio Biafra. He should be given a slot to broadcast in Radio Biafra. And some, some of them who are supposed to be in the position to carry out an instruction given to them, they went and they were gossiping. They went at the back, was saying that Simon Eber is taking over the leadership of IDOG. That was not the information. That information is, is incorrect. And these people who are supposed to be in the position are going around gossiping. Somebody will be jumping from one office to another. If your, if your position or your office is to take care of the people, go and take care of the people. Don't leave the people to go and do security work. Don't leave the people to go and do something else. That is your job assigned to you. That is what you have to do. And the way they are doing all these things, they are creating problems left and right. People will think that there is a problem in IP. There is no problem in IP. Not at all. Because most of them are gossiping in a manner that nobody can understand. The issues and what is happening in USA today, I want to tell you, it's about three people, three women. These are the problems. How can you be running an account that is meant for the people? You are the only sole signatory to it. If you are being asked to put other financial officers, including the head of finance worldwide, you add her by 12 noon, before 5 minutes after 12, you remove her. And you are claiming that you have an authentic account. No, it doesn't happen that way. Instructions have been given. Shut down that account. That is the instruction. And those of them who are in the position to say that, refuse to say it. And that is why these people are moving around talking nonsense. They write petitions left and right like idiots. People who can reason, causing panic because of their own selfish interest. Madam Rita, Eze, alias Oyibo, she is the only signatory to that account. Yes. And the other woman there, I don't know what she is being called. She is writing petition. Maybe her own madness is writing petition. Nelly. Nelly. Yes. So accusing everybody. And those people she's accusing are the people you can work with at any given point in time. They accuse me of the same thing. I don't know what they're talking about. I do what I'm supposed to do. This is not the first time. We've had this incident as far back as 2015. The same thing repeated itself. And those of them who are in position today were part of the conspiracies as well. And I believe it by this time we ought to have changed from that stupid ideas. Yes. And that is what I feel is written today. We should caution all of them. They should be cautioned. The account should be shut down. That was the instruction. And to be handed over to the new account. The North American Continental Rep is going to open. That will involve so many signatories to the account. Yes. That is the only way it can function. Yes. They the woman is in charge. Mrs. Sanya, she is the head of finance. Nobody All right, great people. All right, great people. Jobless is a disease. Captain Kanonta is a jobless man. Master Profit is a jobless man and is a disease. Let me introduce myself. My great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Okenina Okechukun, known as the Pia Franchise the Wancheneke, the general. Jobless is a disease. Kanonta is a jobless man. That is why you can see Kanonta every single day yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. Kanonta na akwasa. 
Canon can agree with us. I hope you people heard it from him. You see all this problem that we are seeing today. Canon Tan is the part of this problem. And this problem did not start today. This problem started after the adoption of our leader. When Canon Tan trying to put himself in a position of the leader. That is the problem of Canon Tan. Because Canon Tan thought that we are here in kingship. Or we are here in family business. That after Mazen Namikan is somewhere, now he will take over Mazen Namikan. That he was thinking. Kanonta claimed to be Mazen Namdekano brother. He claimed to be. And Dr. Donald have told us that Kanonta is not Mazen Namdekano blood brother. He remained for Kanonta to come and defend it. I want you people to understand some of you that Kanonta have called. Kanonta na kwasle. Kanonta na kwezwasle. And they man on obuna gay mugolo. Asle na da debi na tu otonono. Like Master Prophet. Every day they will be na kuna gossip. You people have heard it. This video was the beginning of when they just adopted our leader. They give Simon Eba, they send a message to come and take slot in Radio Biafra. Kanonta is the first person that came out to announce it that the leadership must give a slot to Simon Eba. Kanonta don't even want to allow the leadership to do their job. Because he's putting himself as a leader. He begin to tell them that they must give Simon Abe a slot. That instead of giving Simon Abe a slot, the leaderships are there gossiping. He was talking about the DOS that they are gossiping. Kanonta is the one that foresaid it. The same Kanonta will call you on phone, begin to tell you, is he not the leadership that brought this one? Is he not the leadership that brought Simon Eba? Is he not the leadership that brought Oibo? I want to ask you people something that this Kanonta with his group are those people that brought all this Umuakata in America. Plus Simon Eba. The same Owefi that is gossiping today, the Owefi is part of those people that brought them together. And I want to shock every one of you once again. Remember when, after that adoption of our leader, that our leader did not came to court the second time. There is a meeting on the ground with the leaderships. Mazishinas, I want to mention it. They're trying to put head together to know what they can do. They come up with sitting at home. The same Kanonta is the first person that came out to condemn that sit at home. This is where Simon ever find a safer landing. After we prepare everything, we are pushing sit at home. Kanonta came out because he want to put himself in a position of leader. He came out, begin to tell us that the sit at home must be cancelled. That uh, people are taking Neko. The same Kanonta, he is the root of all this problem. The same Kanonta told uh, Kalurain Okorafo to keep on tweeting on Mazen Namdekano. If I'm lying, I want Kanonta to come and challenge it. The same him tell Ka Kalurain to keep on tweeting on Mazen Namdekano Twitter handle. And he knows that Mazen Namdekano is in the hands of the uh, his hands of enemy in Kenya. And he went and tell Kalurain Okorafo, the Adama Brown daughter, to keep on tweeting on Mazen Namikan Twitter handle, like Mazen Namikan is out there with us. Do you know the reason why Kadola and Okura for hate Mazen Shinas and Woru so much? After all these shenanigans, that Kadola and Okura for knows that our leader is in the hands of enemy. He could not tell any leadership. Now Kadola and Okura for one Mazen Shinas and Woru to defend her. Like she don't know anything happens to our leader. Madishina Samoru said no. But you know that our leader was kidnapped. And he did not tell anybody. And who told him to keep quiet? The same Kanonta. Now you begin to understand. The same Kanonta knows that our leader was in the hands of enemy eight days. The same Kanonta is telling us that our leader is on a mountain praying. The same Kanonta. Are you getting my point? I hope you are getting the point. The same Kanonta. The same Kanonta is also have in his brain that Madame Finance is supposed to be the one controlling the HOD, to be the head of HOD. That is why you see they are fighting 
Mazin, Chike, Dosim, here and there. Because they were planning that mm, the Madame Finance, at that moment, Nayan is supposed to be the head of DOS. Now you begin to understand. The same canon. The same canon was there when Master Prophet was making broadcast saying that if Mazin Namikano comes out, they have to find a Mazin Namikano, another wife. Canon is there, he did not say anything. We saw a video when the leak video of our leader Mazin Namikano on his honeymoon with the wife. We saw how Mazin Namikano was praising her wife. That is the people that can enter and the master prophet is saying that they don't want they are abusing the wife of our leader. They were there when they were abusing the wife of our leader. None of them say anything. That will show you that what Donald said we have taken to bank and it's authentic. Which I am challenging Kanonta to come and prove it wrong that what Donald said is lie. Kanonta is the root. He is the problem because he thought that we are in a family business. He wants to put himself as a leader. And I'm telling every one of you, this is part one. I am telling every one of you that Kanonta is not part of DOS. Kanonta is not occupying position in IPOB. Kanonta is nobody. He just gossiping. Kanonta can gossip. I want you to know that Kanonta na kwase. Go and ask all those people that Kanonta have called. This is how Kanonta will be calling one media warrior, one to another, begin to get them convinced or confuse them that the leadership are the problem. Kanonta will come to you and tell you that it's the leadership that brought Simon Eber. But he is the one that first went outside there and began to announce it. Kanonta did not see when Simon Eber came out say that Mazen Namde Kanon have given him a message to go to DOS and settle the problem. The same canon that is saying that what Simon ever wrote is a lie. I want you people to know that canon that is the real problem. But we are telling them that canon that if you think that you claim to be Mazen Nam the canon brother and that gives you audacity to begin to yap and talk all sort of rubbish from your mouth, we are not going to take it. This is not a family business. And we are in freedom fighting. God has brought Mazen Namdekano to us. And the only who we know is Mazen Namdekano. But that does not mean that we will come and begin to condemn Mazen Namdekano's family or Kano's family. The answer is no. The Igwe, Israel, and the law will die on this quest of self-determination. The same thing, a lot of 20, 28 men died at the same day. On Afaru Kuibek to protect our leader. Now you begin to understand a lot of people have died on this quest of self-determination. A lot of people have died in this struggle. So I want you people to understand that it's not a family business. And I also want the leadership to look towards Colon. Look towards Colon. The coordinator in Colon. <laughs> He said that he's not part of the DOS, that he is with. He's a loyalist to Adam Men Nayanya. And I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt. But I'm telling the leadership to look towards it. Cologne, I want you people to look towards it. I want you people to call that coordinator and ask him a question. Because all of them are there. Creating a cabas. You know, making cabas like they and they know what they are doing. Some of them don't even know nothing. But I want you people to understand this. This is part one. I have taken it upon myself. I don't care what it may come tomorrow. But I'm telling you people that jobless is a disease. That is why you see Kanonta is gossiping every day. As all the whole media warrior that Kanonta have called. Tell them, ask them. You will hear how Kanonta was sounding. You will know that the Kanonta is the part of the problem. And there is no how you can dispute it. I am coming with facts and figures. That Kanonta knows that our leader was kidnapped. He kept quiet for eight days till they rendition our leader. The same Kanonta knew that our leader was kidnapped. 
He told Caroline Okarafo to keep on tweeting on Marcin Namde Cannon. The same Cannon Tower will call you on phone and begin to tell you that the leadership is supposed to know better. When they have connived together with the cabal they have created to sideline the leadership of Marcin Namde Cannon, deceiving Marcin Namde Cannon that the leadership that he has are not working well, how would they know? How would they know? Cannon Tower will call you and tell you that. Are they not the leadership? This is the way they want to twist our brain. But I know that Kamonta is a gossiper. And he is part and parcel of this problem that we have. And this problem did not start today. It started the big, at the beginning of adoption of our leader. Kamonta, we want to come and ask you, who told Kaloran to begin to tweet on the Mazen Nandekano? Who told Kaloran Okorafo, Adam Mabram daughter, not to tell the leadership that our leader was kidnapped. That is the problem Adama Brown, uh, Kalulan Okorafo, hated uh, Mazishina Samuru. Because after the adoption, he, she was waiting that Mazishina Samuru would begin to defend her. Mazishina Samuru said, no, you know, but you did not tell anybody. How can I defend you that you don't know that our leader was kidnapped? You see how evil these people are. That is why Canon Tower will come out and begin to do all this thing from beginning, calling the leadership, calling this, saying this, they're supposed to know. Canon Tower know everything that happened when our leader traveled, when they kidnap our leader, when they rendition our leader. But he keep it by, for himself. Canon Tower is the problem. He is the problem, and I will say it only here, Amen. Canon Tower and Madame Finas. They are the biggest problem on this movement. I will say it, and nothing will happen. We are living here in Germany. They have called me, even though the coordinator of Germany said that he will send me to court. And I pleaded to him to send me to court. But I'm still waiting. Good day and welcome.